Greetings, true believers. It's your old pal, Spider-Man. Hey guys, uh, KJ here. Going to continue on with the uh, samples that Don sent me. This is the last one. Uh, this is Holy Cow, um, a groomy and a state. Um, and just FYI, I did look it up, and it is pronounced Holy Cow. Um, so this one has uh, lemon, lime, grapefruit, vetiver, patchouli, cedar, and abdomen, something, whatever that is. Um, I definitely get lemon and lime. Maybe a hint of grapefruit. It's really very, uh, very citrusy. I'm not sure that I'm getting anything, any vetiver or cedar or anything out of it. I'm, I'm really just getting the, uh, the citrus notes. Um, and actually smelling better than I thought initially, I smelled it straight out of the sample and it smelled even more like lemon pledge than, uh, the previous sample that I was using. Um, but now that I've got it smushed out and, uh, I guess re-releasing some notes, um, the uh, cleaning product type scent isn't uh, as present. Although now that I'm lathering it, now there's, now the vetiver's coming out. And I think the vetiver is kind of what's giving it the vetiver and the lemon together is kind of giving it that uh, lemony pledge kind of smell. Uh, I will say that this is my first time ever using Holy Cow soaps. Um, and I know a lot of people regard it as one of their best soaps. So looking forward to uh, giving it a go. The lather looks really good. Um, I put half of my sample in the uh, tub and it's very soft. So it's looking like I did load probably just about all of my soap. So probably way more than I needed. It's definitely very thick. I'm gonna have to add a bunch of water to it. So happy Thursday to everyone. Um, coming up on a holiday weekend. It's gonna be a long one for me, sort of. Um, so we've got work off on Monday, uh, but I work with the Air Force and the Air Force, they get, um, family days or down days where the commander gives them days off in addition to holidays. So usually if there's a Monday holiday, they will get the Friday off as well. So most of the people on base, unless they're in like a mission critical area, uh, will be down on Friday. So I don't get the day off on Friday unless I take the time off. Um, and I've got enough hours that I can probably take off half the day on Friday, so. I'll be working a shorter day on Friday, but again, it'll be an easy day because I'm not, the Air Force won't be there, so basically, we'll have gotten all of our work done on Thursday, which is today, so today's going to be a little busy for us. but today will just be like our normal Friday. And then tomorrow, probably won't have much to do, so I'll just be sitting at my desk for half a day. And then, got Monday off, and I got my kids this weekend, so looking forward to having them for the long weekend. Still trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Thinking about taking them to a Royals game. 
um, at some point, maybe this weekend or one of the uh, future weekends before the baseball season's over. Baseball tickets are pretty cheap because we suck again! Uh, after winning the World Series a couple years ago, kind of haven't been doing so great, especially this year, so you can get tickets pretty cheap, like 13 bucks, I think, with a uh, military discount. I think I can get them, get uh, tickets for like 10, 10 to 13 dollars. So, just trying to see what I can smell just off the face. Uh, just getting some faint leather, really. Um, or, not leather, lemon. The thickness and the cushion on the soap is really good. Lather was super creamy. Super easy to lather. I don't know why this Techmatic leaves so much lather behind in my face. That's so why I mean, usually I just shave by what lather is still on my face. So if there's an area where I still have lather, I'm going to go back over that area. Um, and it just seems to not come off very cleanly. So that's why I feel like I need to go over the areas a few times. Um, I'll say that right now residual slickness is a zero. My face is very sticky and tacky right now. Uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and see. So now I've got major slickness. So. I just needed a little bit of a refresh to uh, to bring out the residual slickness in it. But it's plenty slick during the shave. Definitely top-notch lather. This is like soap for dummies right here. Like anybody can lather this stuff and get a good shave with it. This is so good. Um, I'll give you guys who are watching this video a little bit of a heads up for the TSC forum. For those of you who are either not on Facebook or not friends with uh, CB Lindsay, our friend Chris. Um, you know, Chad has talked about and teased about Chris's soaps. But Chris posted a picture yesterday of some of his lather. Said uh, something about new things are coming or something like that. Some sort of a teaser. 
and uh, somebody asked him a follow-up question and he said that they would be available before the end of the weekend. So, shh, that's just between us girls, you know? It's a little bonus for you guys who uh, watch my video, try to help you out. But of course, it comes right after I tell myself that I'm done buying stuff for like the rest of the year. Like, had some bills come up, had some medical expenses for my daughter's surgery recovery. And pretty much decided that I didn't want to buy any more soaps. It was good using what I've got, at least until the end of the year. But we'll see what sense he releases. <clears throat> And if there's something that I've been looking for or waiting for, probably going to jump on that. But then that will be it. So again, I needed to add some uh, water to my <clears throat> post shave here to get the uh, slickness back. So... Definitely good and slick, but uh, a little drying on the face after the pass. So again, depending on your definition of residual slickness, my initial definition is as soon as I'm done shaving a pass, can I go back and do a touch up or another pass without relathering, rewetting? The answer is no on this one, but uh, with a little bit of water, you can bring it right back. So I guess you've got enough soap or enough uh, remaining oils, fats, whatever, uh, remaining on your face to be uh, nice and slick. So the shave has been so Super good. Uh, my face feels really good. Uh, initially, I would say this face feel is very comparable to what I was getting from Lisa's new artisan line uh, as far as poche feel. But that's something that we're going to have to judge throughout the day also and see how my face feels after I'm done with the shave completely. Um, pretty sure all of the soap is gone out of my lather bowl. Rinse off the lather just to see. So I've got just a little teeny bit left. just enough to scrape a little teeny bit uh, out of there and put it into my clown puke sample puck. So we're going to go ahead and throw that in there. Add to the goodness in there and we're going to pull this lather out. And that is probably some of the best lather that I've ever seen. So 
Really dig the feel of it. Gotten uh, got a little bit of grapefruit on that one. Still not getting any uh, cedar or patchouli. Maybe just a hint of vetiver, but really all I'm getting is the uh, the citrus notes from that, which uh, is actually pretty good. Um, I don't know that I would have ever purchased that one based off of the scent notes, um, especially with lemons seeming to be the primary. Uh, big fan of lime. Not so much on the lemon. And uh, as far as I can tell, that was a very limited edition soap. It's no longer on their uh, website, uh, which kind of irks me. Um, when uh, soap makers pull the product description off of their website, I mean, I get it if they're uh, if it's limited edition and they're not going to carry it anymore. Um, but some people are still going to want to research it, look it up, see what was in it. You know, samples get passed around. People want to look them up and see what notes are in it, what the ingredients list is. Um, people have questions about that all the time. Well, if you go to their site, you can't find it. It's, uh, the page had been taken down, which I think they should maintain an archive of maybe discontinued soaps that lists the, uh, the notes and everything on, on the website. I mean, I ended up having to go to somebody else's website to find the description of it. Um, which it, it's fine. It's out there, but, uh, I think that a soap maker would want people staying on their website as long as possible. Um, so, uh, I can tell you right now that after, um, after rinsing off, um, the, uh, the poche feel isn't there, uh, like I thought it was going to be. Um, so it's, my, my face is kind of a little, a little sticky tacky. Um, not, not soft. I feel moisturized, but I don't feel like that feeling is going to last very long. So, uh, I guess poche feel, it, it, it's not, it's not there like I thought it was. Um, but it did get a super good shave in, uh, Probably the best shave I've gotten with that Tecmatic so far. Um, near BBS, which I usually don't get BBS shaves. Um, but the uh, I did start to feel a little bit of an irritation possibly on my neck. Um, so maybe the blade is starting to give, which I would be okay with because I'm ready to give up the razor and do something else. Uh, I'm going to be using my uh, bootleggers Arctic Lime. Just wanted to go with uh, something citrusy to uh, follow that one up since I knew it was pretty uh, citrus intense. Um, so again, this is a Cholula bottle. Uh, it has a pretty wide mouth, so if you dump this, it's going to come up pretty fast. So, uh, again, I, I use the trick where if you put your finger over top, uh, completely seal it off, put your hand in there, and then just move your finger off to the side, and then you can drizzle out however much you want. So, if you don't know... The Bootleggers Arctic Lime is a mix of Osage Rub, 
for the Arctic, and uh, citrus musk from Panade for the lime. And it's got a nice, strong menthol punch and a really good uh, lime citrus scent. Um, the citrus musk really doesn't have much of a musk scent at all, so it's pretty much just like a straight lime. Um, I know a lot of people, when they hear about the recipe and they see which panad goes in it, they think... Uh, that maybe lime sec is what goes in it, but uh, the lime sec is definitely more sweet, like a candy sweet, and uh, the citrus musk just goes better in that one. Um, so, uh, again, looking forward to the weekend. Uh, I've got through all the samples. Um, I've got a couple other samples and soaps that I'm trying to get to. Um, I think what I'll use next time is um, a sample that I've got here of the Beehive soaps. I placed an order for the Beehive um, soap. Which one did I get? The uh, Lime Margarita. And she also included a sample of the Bay Rum. So... The, the Bay Rum is what I'll be using for my next shave. Uh, I wanted to try out that scent. And, uh, yeah. So we will see you guys on the forums. Peace out, my man.